A housing official, he joins us live tonight at Vienta de Agosto Park. Justin. Guys, sell the wooden sleeping shelters known as dream pods are gone, but take a look for yourself. Blankets and bedrolls for the homeless still line this sidewalk next to the downtown park. For only five more nights, I give them a blanket and a pillow. About 50 homeless men can sleep in these beds inside the Central Assembly Church. Out back, these huts and yes, dream pods aren't moving anytime soon. This is where I've lived uh, ever since the Dream Pods have moved out from uh, Safe Park. It's called Safe Park Dream Center. You may remember Safe Park founder John McClain, the man on a mission to raise awareness about homelessness. We have uh, about a dozen people that stay here on and off. And they have access to basic amenities inside the church. There's a, a shower, there's a washer and dryer, um, and then there's a, a pool bathroom and, and a kitchen. McLean says he's disappointed these beds were only a temporary solution. At this point, the funding has run out. Sally Stang is the city's housing and community development director. We've also been working with Old Pueblo Community Services, who's been doing outreach at the church along with other places, but at the church twice a week to try and align the people staying there with other housing resources in the city. A mental health organization called Kodak found an apartment for former Safe Park resident Daniel Tolbert. They discriminated me towards my dog's breed, even though he's my PSA service animal. So he turned it down because he refuses to part ways with his pup. I'd rather be on the streets homeless with my dog than to get rid of him. This year's city budget allocates $10.7 million to homeless services. As this camp continues to grow, there's a public forum on homelessness planned for June 28th at the main library. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Justin Shecker, KGA 9 on your side.